In Austria, around 830 people are waiting for a donor organ and hoping for a kidney, a liver or a heart. However, transplantation is a gamble and donor organs are in short supply. Therefore, research scientists worldwide are currently trying to produce artificial organs from 3D printers. What is needed for this process is a very large number of cells, which one would have to cultivate. All of the cells would then be mixed with a hydrogel and used to create a bio-ink. Organs could be printed with bio-ink from human cells. The superordinated idea would be to use cells from the body of the patient, which would mean own cells could be employed and ideally the patient would get his or her own heart back. With this in view, medical researchers at the Upper Austrian University of Applied Sciences in Linz have developed a so-called bioprinter. At present, this is unable to print organs, but it does operate with cell material. You can use it to print a type of mesh that consists of a gel-like material in which the cells grow. The whole project is open source. We don't wish to be commercially successful, we simply want to make this available to an extensive public. The Linz researchers have put the blueprint for their bioprinter online. While other models cost several hundred thousand euros, this one costs 300. The University of Applied Sciences team built it from a DVD drive. A DVD drive is a great design, and I simply combine numerous, very cheap, high-quality components. Basically, I replace the drives with these small stepper motors. I then used them and built a 3D stage. The 3D printer is itself 3D printed. The herausforderung beim 3D druck is eben, dass man das the challenge with 3D printing is simply that you must design the component to also be printable on the 3D printer, which means that no overhanging structures are planned. The syringes eject the material at different speeds. If you eject a material and want it to harden faster, you need more speed. Conversely, if it should harden more slowly, then the speed is reduced. Researchers are still in the initial phase, although in 2019 Israeli scientists produced a mini heart. As yet, this cannot replace a real heart, but doctors can also find mini organs useful. For example, one could test drugs without needing animals. The body would not be printed smaller to scale, but body cells could be printed in a type of scaled-down version of a liver and placed on a small chip to reproduce the metabolism in a certain way and then test drugs. Printing whole organs should be possible in 10 to 15 years' time. For this objective, bioprinters like this require further development. The Linz team has demonstrated that this need not always be expensive and that even an old DVD player can suffice.